Yes, YouTube, what's good? It's Liam here. We're here today for the 6 p.m. Team of the Season Bundesliga release. Or as we're on the loading screen, before we jump out, jump back in and see what the team is, we're going to go check the objectives and the SPCs. Stick around. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we get a banger and hopefully we can get some packs open for you guys and we can obviously go through the team and stuff like that. So let's just jump straight into it. Let's go into the SPC sections off the bat. Who do we get to start off with? So... We have a nice little cheeky team of the season at the moment. It's Cruz. Four star, four star, five eleven, high medium. Doesn't look too bad on the face values, actually. I think possibly an engine. You increase that acceleration and the sprint speed, as well as obviously you want to worry about that agility and balance. And the dribbling will go up to 99. The agility will go up to about 90. 90 or 95. And the balance will go up to about 95, I think, or 99, one of the two. But that might be decent. Has he got the flare shot trait? He hasn't. So he will be used. I think potentially is just just a cam. <coughs> Excuse me. We will try and get him done and try and get some reviews out there for you guys, which we will put on the Instagram um, and possibly Twitter. I'm, I'm trying to think out some um, live reviews as well. So we're, we're going to start moving into that little aspect. But that's not a bad value. Let's go check his value. So he's got two requirements. So the first requirement is an 83 rated squad with one Bundesliga and 80 cam. Then you've got an 85 rated with 70 chem, one team of the season or team of the week player minimum. So I think you're looking at what? Possibly 140k, that one, and then possibly 200, 210, maybe 220k for the uh, Max Cruz. But, you know, I'm not... I'm not really too sure if it's actually worth that given this, um, given it's only 90. I believe team of the seasons and team of the season moments should be at least pushing um 96 sort of thing anyway the next one is the right wing flashback douglas costa now that looks like a very very good card now he hasn't got a f um the finesse shot trait or really any spectacular traits he really should be worried about i mean he's got flair which is good for him he's very nimble on the ball great passing long passing could do with a bit of a boost so I mean, you could potentially go Catalyst if you really wanted to go max out that pace. Long pass will go up to about 86, I believe. So, you know, that, that might be a work in progress. The pass will obviously be maxed out. The dribbling is very good as it is. But you could, what is he, four star, five star, three star. Now, if he was five star, four star, you would think about playing him as a cam. And potentially going Maestro or Mark's Honest. But he's a very good card, to be fair. High, medium. I think this card's going to be very, very good, if I'm honest. Now, so his requirements, he's got three requirements. So he's got an 83 rated squad with one one Juventus player with an 80 chem. Then he has a 84 rated squad with 75 chem, one Brazilian player with a one team of the week or team of the season player. And he also has an 86 rated squad with 65 chem, one team of the week or team of the season player, and a Serie A player. So I think you're looking at somewhere between 400 possibly 500k for that one because it's going to be very similar to the uh philip coutinho got released as well and obviously they did bring out jesse lingard as well he did get the player of the month award finally he looks very good on the base value stats if you ask me i think you could potentially go catalyst just if you're going to use him as that can boost that pace to the maximum as you sort of can long passing will be increased to 84 um short passing crossing and stuff like that very good the dribbling is i'm not really too worried about it i mean what is he he's five nine four star three star so maybe a little bit weak on the left side um but overall he looks very good i mean if you really wanted to worry about the dribbling and stuff you could give him an engine or you know if you really were um wanting to go maybe maybe maestro uh maybe marksman that, that kind of thing um he hasn't got the finesse shot trait which is sort of a letdown for this guy um obviously got the flair and stuff like that I thought he would have at least have curve passing or something like that. But, you know, from what I'm hearing, he's very, very good. I'm surprised they haven't changed his kit, to be fair, on this game. But maybe when they bring out the uh, the actual dynamic image, um, might look very decent. Now, let's go uh, keep going across and see what else they've brought out. Obviously, they brought out a lot of... Um, there's a Bundesliga team of, team of the season challenge as well. So they brought out a lot of La Liga players, which is very strange because they didn't do that for the Premier League. Um, so... We'll see if they do the same thing for the Bundesliga, uh, here we are, and earn one out. So obviously, they've got the Bundesliga Team of the Season Challenge. We'll go look at that in a minute. Um, what else is there out? So there's nothing else out at the minute, just the flashback, uh, Douglas Costa and the Max Cruz Team of the Season moment. So the Bundesliga Team of the Season Challenge requirements are... You need a 70-rated team with 85 chem, 9 rares, 2 golds, 
Uh, two players of one club as a minimum and three players from the same league as a maximum. So you're possibly looking, I think, go uh, one nation for this. So if you've got a lot of silvers and chuck the silvers in and obviously you get a few uh, goals and obviously throw them in as well. Now, we will quickly go check the objectives and then we'll go look at the team of the season um, and see what we've got. So do we have a little snippet there? We do. So Lewandowski got one, Jaden Sancho got one and Goretzka was the CDM. That was I'm not surprised Lorenz, Lewandowski got one. Goretzka deserves one. Sancho's had a very good season as well. Haaland perhaps should be getting one as well. So we get a, a flashback Rusalon, which looks very good. And we get a team of the season Amiri as well. A team of the season moments Amiri. That's that's not a bad card to be fair. What are the crimes? So you've got five goals outside the box in squad battles or rivals. Assisting three squad, separate squad battles uh, or rivals games using a player with four-star skill moves, which is very, very easy. Four using bonus play in seven squad battle games or rivals and assist with a through ball using German players in 10 separate squad battles or rivals games. So 10 games minimum realistically uh, on squad battles is obviously going to be the easiest way to get this card. But if you want to test yourself in the um, in the rival section then feel free to do so. We, like I said we will be trying to get reviews out there. Stick around for them. Follow the channel, uh, Instagram, Twitter and all that. I'll leave links. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details too much. So, he looks very, very good to be fair. We'll go look at his status closely in a minute. That flashback Rousselon as well. So what we've we got, we've got a Bundesliga best die foot for any modes. We've got assist five goals using defenders, assist two goals using crosses, score 15 goals, win eight matches, and score a finesse in 12 separate games. We'll go have a look at the friendly section in a minute, see what the what the friendly section is saying, what the requirements are for the friendly section and stuff like that. And then we'll jump into the big one. We will go look at the new team of the season and we will review all the players uh, individually for you guys on the YouTube channel. So stick around. We're about to go do that right now. So, as I said, we will go jump into the not. Well, we're not going to play a friendly. We are going to go check the friendly requirements for this Rusalon. It looks very decent. Um, and then obviously, like I said, we'll check the players out. So, what are the requirements for this Bundesliga best? So, you need 11 Bundesliga players, five clubs, and five nations. So, it was very, very similar to that La Liga one. Hopefully, people are doing golden goal, which. If they are doing golden goal, brilliant. If not, don't be expecting it too much. Don't get disappointed. You know, if you score one or two and they don't quit, just quit. You know what I mean? It's not really worth the time. Uh, people trying to take this. If the player, if the player pauses for um, for you, don't quit. Don't be a bit. Don't be one of them. Let them learn. Let them learn the lesson. Teach them. So this is the team we're rocking in weekend league at the minute. We aren't. We are currently zero and zero. We've only just got into the game. Um, stuff like that. So, you know. Let's just quickly bash into the team of the season, concept players, Bundesliga. Who do we have? Okay. So we got got Lewandowski. I think this is very similar to his team of the year card. So he's four star, five star, high medium, very good agility, very good balance, very good dribbling stats. I think you should give this guy an engine personally to give the 97 um, acceleration, 98 sprint speed. The agility will go up to 90 or 95 and the balance will go up to about 96. So this card's going to be in Incredible one. Finesse shot trait as well, so he's going to be very, very deadly. 99 finishing, 99 tab. What a card. The only downside would probably be a six foot. But I don't know. I haven't used his team of the year, so let me know in the comments, guys, if you've used his team of the year. Do you think it's very good? Do you think we, we might be struggling with this kind of thing? His jumping is 94, very, very good. Strength, strength is incredible. Stamina is a little bit disappointing, but if he's going to be used your main vocal point, and I wouldn't be worried too much about it. His head and axis is absolutely world class. Passing is world class. His shooting is world class. This card is just going to be an absolute beast. So, we move on to Jaden Sancho. He's now 5 star, 4 star. So, I think they've increased his weak foot. So, that's 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 incredible. That's, that's, good. that's good. Now, he's 4 star weak foot. Which means he'll be, be a bit more usable. And the dribbling stats are actually very decent. Now this you could you, he's got finesse shot trait as well, so that that's incredible for this. You could give him maybe a hawk, increase the strength even more. I think the long shots go up too with a hawk, and the shot power definitely goes up. Or if you want to go keep him out wide or use him as a cam, um, then potentially a catalyst has increased the long passing. Or you know you could go maestro or marksman for this card. He looks very good, and now he's four, five star, four star as well. He should be very decent on both sides. I mean, I've used his um, one what if card, and I wasn't too impressed with him, if I'm honest. 
Um, he felt a little bit sloppy on the dribbling turns, but this car's now with a massive boost, so it might be might be a bit better. And the Kimmich, obviously the Kimmich is three star, four star, high, medium. For a centre defensive mid with high um, offensive attacking work rates, is a bit concerning for me. But you should be okay keeping him in your team as a CDM and keeping him on work on stay back or box to box could be the way forward as well for this guy. His agility and dribbling is very good. His defending is very good. His physical is very good. The only concern would obviously be his pace. So because he's already got very decent dribbling and defending and passing stats, you could potentially just go Hunter, 99 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. The finishing goes up to 92, uh, 91, I believe, or 96. Um, so he's going to be a very good all-rounder as a box-to-box. -box. Um, five foot nine as well. He's very strong on the ball, so I expect this car to be very, very decent. The next one is obviously Manuel Neuer, who already got a team. He got a team of the year. Sorry, um, I, I just give this card a basic, absolute basic. Just five across the board, ninety nine basically on all the stats. It's an incredible card. Ireland did get one. He's three star, three star, which is surprising. You think he'd be at least four star, three star, or three star, four star? He's six four, high high. Now he is going to be a, a bit of a powerhouse going through your, uh, through the opposition defenders. The only problem would be, I feel like he's a dribbling sh should. Potentially will be punished because of his 6 4. Um, I haven't used his headliners and I haven't really used his team of the week. I used his normal card and I wasn't impressed with the normal card. I think, I, excuse me, I did use one of his team of the week and I did a draft at the start of the week a few months into and I just wasn't impressed. Even with an engine, I just wasn't impressed. Engine could be the way forward for this card, increase the agility, increase the balance, obviously, to 91 and 95, and effectively 95 acceleration, sprint speed, obviously. Touch. Now he hasn't got the finesse shot trait, which is a bit of a letdown for this guy. I feel if he has a finesse shot trait, he may be a little bit more deadly in front of goal. But I still think he might be a very good hold-up striker. The passing is obviously going to get increased with the engine. Long passing is disappointing. But, you know, like I said, if he's a hold-up striker, you're not really too worried about that one. Obviously, then you've got the Gretzka, who was 90 across the stat across the board. Absolute machine of a card. Four-star, four-star, 6-2. Now, the only problem might be his dribbling. So I... I if you're going to use him as a CDM, then obviously maybe giving him an engine could be the way forward. I know you're not really bothered about his passing stats, but the agility and the balance is a concern for me. The acceleration got to 98, and the sprint speed got effectively. Agility should go up to 92, and the balance got to 90, I think. So, again, if you're not really bothered about that, then maybe go Maestro, shooting, passing, dribbling all goes up. But the problem would be the balance doesn't go up. Marksman. So, the engine could potentially be the way forward that one now thomas muller did does deserve a team of the season in and i think they give team of the season to the team that wins the league they give most of the team of the season to the team that wins the league i believe correct me if i'm wrong in the comments guys i might be wrong um, but that's the way it seems to be so far man city seems to be getting the most team of the season. league one obviously the league is still going on atletico barca madrid seem to get a couple of team of the season there so bayern munich thomas muller six one high high four star four star I think you should give this guy. If I'm not, if, if I'm perfectly honest, what's he got? Yeah, he hasn't got the finesse shot trait. So I think if you're going to use the camera the 9090, then possibly go Maestro or Marksman. If you're worried about the 9090, you want the agility and balance to go. That'll be my way forward for this guy. Um, the six foot one could be a bit of a concern for me, but we'll be testing them out. So I will give you an honest review. I try and give the honest review. Not the world's greatest player, but I am a Div, Div 1 player. So if my opinion helps you guys out, let me know in the comments. If you want to come follow the channel again, like I said, then please do so. Just want to point out there, guys, if you are enjoying today's video, please hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Help support the channel. It's absolutely appreciated. And it goes along. Yeah, I went bash on. Anyway, team of the season, Hummels. This guy, the defending is very good. I think you have to give him... If you want to max out his defending, then obviously go shadow. I I don't know. I mean, the passing's good as it is anyway. The dribbling's obviously a bit poor. He is six three, but he is a defender. He's got high high, which is strange for defender. You think he'd be punished from walking out of position, but he doesn't. If you if you know if you really want to give him a catalyst, yeah, increase that curve up to eighty. Excuse me, up to eighty nine. Short passing goes up to ninety nine, and the long passing goes up to ninety nine. Pace goes up to 90 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. That might be a little bit of concern for me because he will be slow off the mark, I believe. His body type is stocky as well, I think. So he will be slow on the turn. But 
we'll, we will we'll wait to see. It wouldn't be someone that I would really think about getting. Team of the season, Komen. Four star, three star is a bit of a letdown. I think it should be five, maybe five star, four star, or four star, four star. Medium, low is, is it potentially a concern. It's not going to get forward as much as you think. I haven't used. He had a UCL. Um, he had a UCL moments in the group stage. I wasn't really a big fan of that one, to be honest. So he is injury prone. He's got speed dribble. He hasn't really got many traits. So the what, what the card that I would and maybe maybe a maestro, maybe a maestro for this guy. Uh, I mean, you could potentially go dead eye or marksman for this one. I think possibly a dead eye or a maestro. So the maestro increases the shooting, passing, and dribbling. You get a little bit of a boost across all of them. He looks like it should be a very good card, but I don't really know. Obviously, Jordi Alba was in the community team of the season, so we know what we all, we know already know we already know all about him. So the next one is obviously Sabitza. Sabitza got one, which is which is strange because he got an objective. Did he get a season objective one, or did he get an SBC? I think it was an SBC card, wasn't it? Which is, I don't know. Uh, Three star, four star, not really a problem. Um, high, high, five, ten, CDM. It could be an engine or it could be a shadow. If you're really worried about the agility and balance and the dribbling, then give him an engine. If not, then just go shadow for this guy. Um, he's not really. I think he's really that special. For Next one, Andre Silva. Four star, three star, high, medium, medium, six foot. He hasn't got finesse shot trait. He's already got decent shooting stats. He's already got decent physical stats. Dribbling's not too bad for a six foot striker. Possibly a catalyst. Possibly a catalyst just to make him a hold up striker. Increase that shoot. Um, increase the pace uh, to 99 and 91 respectively. Short passing goes up to I think it's 97, 98, and the long passing goes up to 90 or 95. The curve goes up. A catalyst could be the way forward. The disappointing part is the fact it hasn't got a finesse shot trait. So that could be the only letdown for this card, but we will wait and see. Alfonso Davies has got a team of the year. He's also now got a team of the season, which, if I'm honest with you, he's had a very good season. I think he was in. I think he got injured, so I think he missed the rest of the season. If I'm, if I'm wrong in thinking so, let me know. I don't think I'm. I'm not too sure if I'm honest with you. I know he got injured one um, start of the year this year. He's four star, four star. You could give this guy. Maestro, increase the shooting, passing, the dribbling. You can give him a marksman. You can give him um, maybe a guardian, if I'm honest, or even a powerhouse. You can give him as a left back. What is he, 5'11"? So left back, centre back, CDM, striker. Uh, you could you, you could use him as a striker. Cam, left mid, left wing. This guy could play a multitude of uh, positions. It's a very, very good card. This, we will have, we'll, this one's probably one I'm looking forward to. Mukaleli was in the community team this season. And Helino, possibly, um, I'd go Shadow. 99 acceleration, obviously. 92 sprint speed, the defending and, and the standing tackles. And up to about nines and stuff like that. 95s and high 90s. Early crosser, which is obviously very good. His crossing's very, very good. He's four star, three star, high, medium. So he is going to get forward. This guy will be very good on the counter attack and very good on the overlap. His crossing is incredible. I mean, if you're not really too worried about his defending being a left wing back, then obviously give him a catalyst to increase the curve, the long passing, the short passing. Pace, obviously, is, is probably the important part. Or, or if you're able to play a switch and position switch in game, it could be a decent CDM or a box to box. I mean, his finishing's a bit dismal, so possibly a CDM would be the way forward for this guy. But not still a good card. I, I, let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think that Team of the Season should be higher rated? Do you think like Team of the Year should be 99 and the Team of the Season should be at least 94 5 at least for all the players regardless of the league? Or do you think EA have got the ratings right? I mean, I don't think they have got the ratings right because half of the cards that they've released have already been the Team of the Year. So if you want to go cheaper, then obviously go look at the Team of the Weeks, the headliners and stuff like that, rule breakers, record breakers, or whatever you want. That would be my personal opinion. That's always what I recommend on the um, the reviews. Anyway, Lacroix. This is interesting. Six foot three. Very good drip defending. I think you should give this guy. The interception is 85. I'm really too bothered about the interception. 
I think a catalyst, 93 acceleration, 93 sprints, 99 sprint speed, short pass is 99, long passing goes up to 84, curve goes up to 67, 75, 77, I believe. I mean, I don't think it's bad. Is you know, his ball control is very good. Um, he could be good on the ball. I don't expect him to be a world class dribbler. Very strong, very good in the air. This guy could be a low key beast. You can get him in your French team or a Bundesliga. Might be worth having a look. Bailey obviously community team of season and Kunku team. Um, and Kunku was community team of season. Baku. Well, that's interesting. One of my followers on Instagram did say Baku would get him, but then I believe he could have seen. A I've avoided leaks, so I don't, this is all new to me. I, I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing so far. It's not a main league I was looking at. Bundesliga isn't one of my main leagues. The league was the main league I looked at. We've got a few the league players, which I'm happy about. Um, so, what would I give this guy? If I'm not too bothered about his defending, I'd probably go Catalyst to increase the acceleration. It would be 99. Switch would be 99. Short passing would be 94, 99. Long passing would be 90 or 95. Curve would be about 94. I think this guy on the counter, Crossing, I think goes up. Too. If on this guy, this guy on the counter, what is he? Five nine, yeah, five nine, four three star, four star, high medium. So on the counter, this guy could be very good, and I think he could be decent on the ball. To be fair, yeah. If if you're worried about a standing tackle, the sliding tackle, then go shadow. If not, I go catalyst for the card. So that's it for the Bundesliga team of the season. So we'll go take a team of the season mentions. So yeah, so so he did get an, he got an annual mention, didn't he? Savvy said got an annual mention, so maybe that'd be someone. I know it was an objective card, but if you already got him, don't worry about going for his season. Team of season moments was an Amir Miri, which is five star, three star, which is very good for. Him. Medium, medium might be a little bit of a problem. Five eleven. I don't know. I don't know what body type he has. Um, doesn't really say. So it could be a little bit of a concern on the dribbling stats. I mean, he could go if he really wanted to. I mean, he's got the defending stats, so you could make him a CDM, give him a shadow. You could make him an all out cam, give him a hunter. You could give him an engine, 99 acceleration, 90, 86 sprint speed, 99 agility, 99 bar, 99 dribbling. We, we, we'll try hunter uh, and we'll try engine. I don't want to use him as a CDM, he just went, he's just not my type of player for CDM. Um. I think, he, I think he's going to be a good card, and to be fair, it's an objective card. Can't really ask. I know obviously he's free, you are putting some time in. You've got to pay. You know what I mean, you haven't got to pay for him, you haven't got to go over the top. You're not losing. It's the same with this Max Cruz. But this is someone we will complete anyway. I like the free cards and the objectives and stuff. 99. Uh, maybe, maybe an engine, 96 acceleration, 95, 94 sprint speed, 95 agility, 99 balance. 99 dribbling could be the way forward. Obviously, the pass and long passing goes up with the curve. So, an engine could be the way forward for this guy as a either a hold up strike or even just a like can. Jump is a little bit low, so I don't expect him to win too many headers, if I'm honest. So, that's the team of the season for Bundesliga, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the video. I know we are about 25 minutes in, but we had a lot to go through. So, can't open packs because obviously we have a tradable. Uh, untradeable dude as can unfortunately i can't bring packs but i will try to get some reviews out so if you enjoyed today's video please hit that thumbs up hit that like button subscribe if you want to come support the channel on instagram youtube and twitter and i will even will be leaving some reviews on the instagram and hopefully some uh, gameplay to go with some of the reviews of the players that i like as obviously we can able to get um, but yeah guys that's about it from me really I hope everyone's enjoyed today I hope everyone's having a good weekend a good weekend league a good Friday I hope you have a good weekend see you next time guys